Well, I think this video is going to make quite a few of you happy. What's up, guys, and welcome to Diamond Dynasty Part 1, The Beginning. So we have played MLB The Show on this channel for so many years, and we have never once touched Diamond Dynasty. I've never played it myself off of YouTube either. I, I've got no experience with this mode, and I realize that's a travesty. I, this is one of the most popular, if not the most popular modes in this game. I've heard it's fantastic, and a lot of people are, are really, really addicted to it, so... I'm excited to check it out and uh, we'll see what happens. I, to be honest, I've always been a little bit intimidated by it. Like, it, there's just so much going on. You, you, from what I understand, it's it's kind of like an ultimate team. So you're going to have like packs and pack openings and try to get the best squad together you can. But then there's other ways to earn players and cards. And like, you can play online. There's battle royale. There's offline modes. There's challenges. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. So... I'm going to be looking for some help from you guys as well. I, I don't even know how to structure these episodes. I don't know where good breaks and stuff are. So we'll see what happens. But uh, here we go. So we're going to be creating our team. Going to be able to choose our team colors. It's got uh, favorite colors already selected for us. We can randomize it. Red and blue. Green and yellow. Black and red. Okay, so these are all pretty traditional. I like the orange and blue. That doesn't look bad. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, you know, the U of I back home. Let's try to get something a little bit different, though. So we've got, uh, I mean, purple. I really like purple. We could go with some sort of a dark purple. Wouldn't look bad if we did maybe an accent color of, of white. Purple and white. And then we could do, I mean, you guys know I'm a big Vikings fan. So we could do something like that. But it's not that great. Let's, um, what if we did like a, what about like a, an aquamarine or like a teal? Something like that's actually pretty nice. Maybe a little bit brighter. Ah, some, somewhere around there. There we go. Okay. So I like that. If we're going to be a team from Florida, this would make sense because we've got different, uh, you know, shades of, of water. Does that clash or does that look nice? Should we go with like a darker blue? Should we go with hmm, maybe something like that? Okay. We've got kind of a teal and navy going on. That actually looks pretty good with a white accent. I like it. So location... I'm actually, we're, let's let's see what kind of options we have for our, our, you know, nickname here. So we've got the 51, 66ers, Aces, Angels, Anteaters, Astros, Athletics, Avengers. So we've got real team names and then kind of made up ones. We could be the Beavers. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Blue Yodels. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense. Cyclones. I really like that. Or if they have hurricanes, the mood hens, the rattlers, the sand gnats. <laughs> Some of these are so ridiculous. Sarks would be kind of cool. The silver surfers would be cool. The skeeters, kind of, I guess like mosquitoes. That would make sense for Florida too. There's a lot, a lot of options out here. The thieves, thunder, shout out, shout out Nate Shaw, Hunter Thieves, baby. Vikings, warriors, vampires. I think I'm going to go with the hurricanes. I feel like that's... It's cool, but it also definitely sounds sounds legit. So since we've got the audio for that We're gonna we're gonna type in our team name here. Let's see what kind of locations we're gonna be able to be from so we've got certain cities Okay, do we want do we want to probably not the Orlando hurricanes maybe like the Miami hurricanes or something Key West hurricanes would be kind of cool be, be from the keys. I like that we could be from Tahiti the Tahitian hurricanes, they don't they don't have I guess if we had we have the cyclone, I'm gonna be from Tahiti. We're gonna be the Tahitian Cyclones. Man, Dutch was uh Dutch was on top of his game. I I believe in him. We're gonna move out to Tahiti and we're gonna start a baseball team. The Tahitian Cyclones. I guess CY CYC makes makes the most sense. Alright. Sounds good to me. Tahitian Cyclones, newest team in, in Diamond Dynasty. Ho hopefully they're going to be good. Welcome to Diamond Dynasty. This is your starting Diamond Dynasty squad. Your goal in this mode is to play games, collect new players, and build the best squad possible. We've created some quick missions to help get you started. XP is earned by playing games and is used to progress and unlock rewards. Stubs are the universal currency earned in game that can be used to purchase items or packs. For your first mission, we created a moment in the bottom of the ninth. Your goal is to score the game-winning run. Good luck. Okay, so let's just start with this. I'm down. We're going to complete a moment. Bottom of the ninth, tie game, bases loaded. It's up to you to knock the go-ahead run. Take home the win. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, you, you can play online against other players in, like, leagues. There's also, like, I think there's a battle royale mode where you play, like, three inning games, and that's it. And, and that's against other live players. But you've also got these historical moments where you could earn stuff from that. So, like, I, 
There's also like a board game thing to it. I tried to watch a video and tried to figure it out. It was it was confusing. All right. Four seam slider, sinker, and a splitter. Here we go. Oh, just absolutely bombed. That's it. Okay. Congrats, guys. We won. Diamond Dynasty complete. I mean, if that's a sign of how things are going to go, then then this is going to be a pretty pretty lit series right there. So we got Brian Roberts. This is a post-game summary screen. You can find the XP and the rewards that you have earned. You can also track daily missions, program progress, parallel XP after each game. Now, when we're earning XP here, is that helping out our, our road to the show player or vice versa? I, th I think it definitely does vice versa. We want to complete our first collection to unlock additional rewards. You complete complete collections with the items you've earned from playing the game. Complete your first collection. L1 to navigate to the collect tab. Bro, see, I am so lost. So basically, collections are kind of like challenges for you to, to collect and, and, and attain certain cards. And then once you get those cards, you can, you can like officially add them to your collection and that gets you stubs, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna collect those items. So now we can't sell those. Some of this stuff that we own, we're gonna be able to sell in the marketplace. Other stuff you can't. So we completed our first collection. So we customized our squad. We put Nico Goodrum in at short. And now we're going to be going into another moment here. You're on the mound with a 4-3 lead in the top of the ninth. So we're going to have to uh, have to preserve this lead. Win the game and don't give up a run. All right. So top of the ninth, we need three outs here. I mean, this is very interesting so far. Like, I, obviously, we're kind of in the tutorial mode here. It's... it's Gonna get easier over time and we'll we'll start to understand it a little bit. Gonna go with this outside slider. Ooh, got him. Way too early there. Alright, we're gonna be going with the uh the fastball here. Ooh. Interesting. So we're gonna be playing everything. We're not just bat we're not just pitching, we're gonna be playing a little bit of everything. I like that. Okay. So this is this is gonna be different. Nice little change up there to get our first strike. We're gonna go outside with the four seam. Oh, close up. Come on now. Blowing away with the slider. This thing is gonna be nasty. Oh, he got us. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't you worry about it. All right. Beautiful work. That's two outs. We need one more. So this is kind of nice. I like this. Let's beat the Yankees, boys. Woo. Nasty. Come on. Get it there. What? I pressed circle. He didn't throw it. Outside with that nasty slider. Ooh, that thing is gross. All right. I'm going to say uh, we're going to go with the fastball. Uh, keep it close. I'm going to go with the... Last chance for the Yankees. Low it in. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's the game. Got a little bit sketchy there. I think I have to hold hold the button longer to be able to throw it. Dude, this is all new to me. So, hopefully you guys can offer some advice. Like I said, I, I tried to watch a video on it. We got to get through this tutorial part, and I, I think it's going to make a little bit more sense. So, we got our Diamond Dynasty starter pack here. Going to be hoping for some diamonds, but uh, all right. We're going to flip this. An 81 overall. We can quick sell it. We can list it on the marketplace or you can add to our rotation. I'm going to imagine we're probably going to want to keep him for now as a, uh, a starting pitcher. Do we want to, I guess, replace this dude? Okay. Shout out, Luis. So from a top-down perspective, I mean, this this is our squad here. This is what we're working with, which is looking pretty decent so far. I guess our, our total overall is a 71. You can see our contact, power, speed, defense, pitching, whatever else. So this is our squad. This is what we're starting with, and we want to upgrade them over time by playing, by opening packs, by... I mean, you could spend money if you wanted to to, to just buy more packs and, and, you know, buy people off the marketplace and stuff like that. So if we go to play here, we've got our program. So the first inning program, I think this is kind of like your, your battle pass in a sense. So I think this is what we would have focused on. And we get through this by, by earning XP. And to get XP, we're going to go through like these daily missions. You can get XP. Just playing, you get XP. You've got other missions here moments all kinds of stuff okay so we, we've we've got our, our battle pass that we want to get through we've also got uh we've got our daily moments team affinity i think this is if you're collecting guys on similar teams or in similar you know leagues or, or divisions you're going to get bonuses possibly we've got rewards all kinds of stuff so we've we've got that we've got ways you could play so you can play against the computer you could play moments you could play showdown you could play conquest and you could play extra innings 
Dude, there's so many things. Like, Conquest is kind of like a board game, I think. You're, like, taking over the world and buying real estate and stuff. And you've also got online modes. So you've got ranked seasons, which I definitely want to get into, but probably not yet because our team's not that good yet. We've got Battle Royale. You get to pay stubs to be able to get in and, and try not to lose. I think those are the three inning games. You've got events, friends, casual. Dude, there is so much going on. So from what I understand, we, we want to focus on the first inning program. This is going to be our best way to get the, the best options. And then from there, you, you kind of branch out. So we've got our daily missions, which are small. I would imagine you probably want to try to run through these each day and, and just complete them. That's going to help you out. They'll change up each day. We've got our main missions here, which it looks like a lot of this is the competitive playing online, stuff like that, which I really want to get into, but we don't have a squad for that yet. Or maybe, is it ranked? Like, will they put me against other low tier squads? So it's all even, I'm not sure. It seems like moments might be our best option. So his first one is 42. Jackie Robinson was the first player to break MLB's color barrier and has left his mark in the game forever when he made his major league debut. Playing as Robinson, get on base one time without recording a strikeout. All right. It's going to get us 1,000 XP. I'm down for it. Let's try it out. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's so many different ways to play it, and that's what, like, I mean, if you're just grinding on your own, that's fun. That makes makes it great because you can constantly mix it up and always be working towards that same goal. As a, a you know, content creator, I don't know what you guys want to see. Like, do you want to see me go through and grind out random moments like this? Should we focus on battle royales or ranked seasons? Got a feeling that's probably what people mostly do. I have no clue what like a Diamond Dynasty is video Jackie is, Robinson. what a layout of it is. You know what I mean? Should we just sit here and spend a bunch of money and rip packs? I'm down for that too. I don't know, dude. All right, here we go. Let's go, Jackie. Sinker, slatter, four seam, change up at a cutter. Now the pitch. Oh, got him. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Shoot. Okay. Well hit ball. Legends. 0 for 1 with a line out in the first. All right, we're going to have to come back here. I like the old school scoreboard. Checked it. My bad. My bad, Jack. Sorry, homie. Went around a little too far. Ooh, all right. That was a good pitch there. We can't strike out. We can't strike out. That's not going to be enough for a base hit, but at least we're not striking out. We'll okay. 0 for 2 so far on the day. Jackie, I'm sorry, man. Line out in the ground. Out. It's, it's time to make it work here. Here we go. Now here's the first offering. That's inside. Got to lay off that one. Is at the plate as he looks Easy at reads. Got to be careful on, with baby. this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though they're two outs. <sighs> Got out in front of that slider. Thought it was going to be a four seam. Looked good. It's a good pitch. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out. Gonna be a ground out to second. Dang it, dude. All right. 0 for 3 so far today. We got to get that hit. We've got one more at bat, I would assume. Bottom of the seventh. We actually, we might have another one. We'll see. Probably not, though. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch. Try to rip it down that third base line. Not quite enough. Come on, baby. Here we go. We got this. That's outside. All right. Let's try to get an RBI here, bud. Show them what you're made of. Whoa! Oh! Tell me we're going the yard on that one. Tell me we're going the yard on that one. Let's go! That's the way to do it. Woo! All right. Get on base one time. Well, I think we accomplished that, fellas. Hammer and Hank, baby. Hank Aaron. First person to record 3,000 hits and 500 home runs in a career. Playing with Aaron. Tally two hits, including one extra base hit in a game. Hammer and Hank, baby. Dude, such a massive human. Oh my goodness. This is cool. I, I like I like being able to play with some of the old school guys. Tribute to you know the history of the game. Four seam slider, change up, sinker cutter. You can't give me a fastball right like that. Right down the middle. Come on, man. I should have should have probably gone two there. I guess it kind of would have been a fielder's choice situation anyway, so. Alright. Kind of took the pressure off a bit there. We just need one hit with extra bases now. Probably have three or four more at bats, so just First be patient. Wait Indian for your pitch. Hank Aaron. Way inside, okay. As he looks at a ball. Up early That's in the count, like to see that. That's low. 
Close, but we'll we'll leave it there. Wait for your pitch. We got time. Outside, beautiful. Come on. Sinker changeup guy. If he's gonna succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Oh my goodness! The four seem a little bit underneath it though. It's not gonna have nearly enough pop on it. Shoot! That was what we were looking for. We just didn't we didn't connect like we would have liked to. All right, it's fine. A few more at bats to go. Same guy here. Come on. We need extra bases. That's gone. That's gone. Goodbye. See ya. Sayonara. Oh, he almost robbed it. All right. That's a success. We'll take it. Look at this dude out here just hitting homers left and right. But we can't do that in Road to the Show. So we leveled up to level three here. And we've got a choice of, of three items. Is that? It says program choice. Now, how do we... How do we get to that? Are these possibly already in our inventory? Have we already earned these? Let me check my packs. Ah, I think we've already got these in our inventory. And we've got some extra packs from pre-ordering the game. So we're going to be able to start ripping these. Let's, let's do that. Let's open up this pack. Is it... Oh, it's multiple cards. Okay, so we got a... Uh, we got a, a Louisville Slugger sponsorship. I guess we can... Uh, quick sell that but hopefully that's the right choice Zach Lothar 62 overall I'm, I'm thinking sell now probably just want to sell anything that's not going to make it into our, our starting lineup 73 overall we're definitely going to be able to add him to our, our rotation here looks like uh you gotta go, homie. Sorry about that. Zach Eflin has been added to the squad. Nice. So it's it's kind of cool. We've got, you know, there are ways that you can earn stubs back. It's it's not like stubs are only purchasable. Obviously, you can earn them as you play, but like I mean, this is a, a pretty quick, immediate uh, you know, stubs stubs earning potential here. Should we be trying to collect these to be able to complete our collections? I'm actually I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell them yet. I feel like that was a, a bad call to start things off here. We're, we're, I'm not going to sell him now until we understand more about what's going on. Oh, Carlos Correa here. 83 overall shortstop. Of course, we are going to be adding him to our lineup. Where's where's our shortstop in here? Nico Goodrum. Sorry, bud. You have been replaced. All right. I like it. So that's our first gold that we have pulled out of one of these to show 21 packs. Obviously looking for a diamond. But I, I think these are, these are probably kind of lower end packs, I would imagine. I think some of the ones we've earned might be a little bit better. We got a Colorado Rockies BP Road. I mean, that's kind of cool. We could quick sell it for 500 stubs, which I feel like is, is pretty good, but I, I don't know if we want to keep that. What do you use jerseys for? We got a collector's edition bat skin pack. Oh, all right. I like it. That's kind of cool. Jackie Robinson 42 skin that we're going to be able to throw on uh, on any of our bats. We've got some gold item choices. Okay. Oh, so this this is going to be all gold items. And we're going to be able to be able to pick which one we want to keep. So do we want a catcher? Do we want a pitcher or do we want a left fielder here? We could also get some batting gloves for if, if we were looking for, you know, like road to the show uh, items. Obviously, those aren't going to be as valuable as, as some of these players. Who Noah Syndergaard. Okay, I will definitely take that. Thank you very much. 82 overall. Definitely going to be adding him to our, our pitching rotation. Charlie Blackman's beard is is pretty fantastic, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and keep him. Bo Bichette, baby. I love it. All right. Let me pick him up as well. I, I hope I'm not making any any mistakes here. Like, I, Is it like FIFA where like people from different teams and different parts of the world and countries and stuff are going to give each other bonuses, so you need to think about like how they're going to get along and stuff like that? I, dude, I... If you want me to be honest, I have no, no idea whatsoever. So we've got equipment packs. This is kind of exciting. We're going to be able to pick different skins and bats from each, each round. I, I really like the hot dog bat, so I'm going to go with that. Submit our selection there. We've got four rounds of this. Do we want a Wilson glove? Jordan cleats? Those are pretty dope. I think I'm going to go with the Jordan cleats. Okay. Nice. I'm excited about this. This is going to translate directly over into our uh, our road to the show. We've got some random items like, you know, catcher's guards and stuff here. I mean, I'm not probably just going to pick whatever's the most expensive. Nothing's really that that great in here. 
And then we've also got, uh, ooh, some, some uh, ritual items here. So plate vision, fielding and accuracy, contact. I'm going to go with respect the... Uh, Respect the tools. We're gonna pick diamond players. I've got two of these packs, bro. What? Okay. This is pretty incredible. We've got a lot to choose from here. Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Cal Ripken, Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron. Dude, what do we want to go with here? Looks like Willie Mays is the most expensive out of all of them. Is that how we should base it? I mean, Bob Gibson, Mariano Rivera are pretty close. I guess it depends on, on what position we're looking for. Now, it says that some of these guys are event tags. You guys can see it's got the, the yellow event tags. So do we not... Do we not want to get them because we could earn them elsewhere? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to go with Bob Gibson here. Second one here, we're going to be able to pick from the same guys. I, I mean, I, again, I don't really know what I want. As a longtime Sox fan, Frank Thomas would be pretty cool, but he's, he's not fetching a price that some of these other guys are. I guess let's go with, with Willie Mace. Can't, can't go wrong there. And that's the end of our pack. So we can go into the shop and it looks like, I mean, you can get 10, the show packs, you can get 50 packs for 75,000. That's, that's crazy. Um, okay. I, I'm, I'm starting to kind of understand it a bit. And, and obviously, you know, with with those new pickups we just got, we probably want to organize our team. If we move these guys around, we want to try to keep people at their actual position so you don't get any, any you know, negative bonuses or, or multipliers because they're out of position. So, like, here we've got Bo Bichette. He's in a secondary position here. Really, he wants to be at shortstop, but he's, you know, our, our Carlos Correa is better. Um... We don't have any other second baseman that would make sense. There's secondary second baseman, but nobody's going to be better. So he's just going to have to play secondary position. Do we have any left fielders? We need a left fielder. Can we move him out here? He's not going to be in his position, but then we're going to have, you know, him in our, our batting lineup, which is going to give us a little bit more batting power. Might not be a bad idea. I don't know how, how bad of an idea that is, though. So yeah, this is our squad we're working with here. We're actually looking pretty good just off the first set of packs that we ripped. So let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see? Like, should we should we try some Battle Royale? I think those, those would be fun because it's short three inning games. Should we try some ranked seasons? Like, what do you guys want to see from this series? Do you want to see more pack openings as well? Should we do like some packs every now and then? I don't know. I'm interested in, in feedback down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next uh, Diamond Dynasty episode. And... Uh, Peace out.